Bye, Sean. created a new glowing sea. Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she anything but Desdemona. And so the mighty have fallen. Dozens of years, countless sacrifices. It all paid off thanks to you. Deacon says this was his plan all along. <laughs> yeah, Deacon planned it. Who knows? Maybe he did plan it all. Some things even Deacon can't do. Maybe. <laughs> In days gone by, when us old-timers waxed rhapsodic about life without the Institute, we recognized our work wouldn't end immediately. Hate runs deep in the Commonwealth, deeper than the soil. To them, synths are the living embodiment of the Institute's oppression. I'd understand if you want a much-needed vacation. But are you up for the next mission, Whisper? Mm. Well... Maybe later. <laughs> I think I'll take that vacation first. <laughs> take all the time you need. We'll be waiting. Our safe houses will be bursting with synths, seeking a better life outside the Commonwealth. Not everyone in the Institute died. We'd be foolish to think there won't be retaliation. Hmm. Come back to the HQ and lead the last of our people to freedom. You. All of you. We've rescued enough of your people over the years. You don't have to say anything. You will protect them. Is it really safe? Over? Just because you're out Did of the we? Institute doesn't mean you're we? safe. Or the railroad's job is over. There's a lot of work ahead of us. But together, we'll get there. <laughs> and just for good measure, let's keep putting up those Milas. Uh, yeah, or not. That's good. We don't have to. That's awesome. Uh, my whole life, I've been holding my breath. Yeah. Now, now I can. Oh, leave. a new one. You, yeah. You did it. We did it. Yes, we is did it. Really it. <clears throat> this did is the we? first time my people Win? faced Shut up, lady. freedom. Do something good with your life, Z114. And start by getting a new name, now, yeah? Now I can breathe. Oh my goodness. There is a new crater over there, yeah. Okay. Deacon? I want to go home. You know that vertebrate from Red Glare? Yeah? Well, Tom and the boys fueled it up and it's ready for you. Just throw this and it'll pick you up. Tom will start stocking signal grenades, too. Oh. <laughs> well, isn't that awesome? Or what? All right. There he is. Look at it. He looks like a I'm normal boy. I don't boy. spend my whole life underground. That would be boring. Yeah, it would. It was boring. It was boring there. You're right. Hey, Sean. Dad, I was so worried. I thought I'd never see you again. Is it true? Did you really blow up the Institute? Why would you do that? Well, they were dangerous. They were dangerous, Sean. To everyone in the Commonwealth. Yeah, that's what Tom told me. As long as you don't leave me, it'll be okay. You're... you're not gonna leave me, right? 
No. No, no, no. I'm here for you now. Don't worry, kiddo. I'm here for you. Okay. Oh, before I forget, Father, uh, he told me to give this to you. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it says. But I think it's important. Oh. All right, let's go. Th wasn't there a lid on this before? There's a sword in there. John Pitcairn's sword. I'll just take it then. I thought there was a lid on that grave last time we were here, wasn't there? <laughs> Odd, okay, well, I'm gonna go over here and listen. Away from everybody. Hopefully. Hey, Dez is looking for you. Okay, just a second. I want to listen to this thing that father. Why did so far? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still um, trying to come to terms with somebody reprogrammed um, the Sean synth to think that he is actually my son because he didn't think he was my son before. What was this called? Message from father or something like that? Let's check that. Message from father? No. From father, maybe? Or... From father? No. Recording? Father's message? No, it's not. Yeah, recording. Oh, seriously, where is it? Sean's term. Sean's holiday. There it is. <clears throat> I thought it would be Father's holiday. Whatever. Okay. <sighs> if you are hearing this, then whatever conflicts you and I have endured are over. I have no reason to believe that you'll honor the request I'm about to make. But I feel compelled to try anyway. This synth, this... Boy, he deserves more. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. Yeah. It is my hope that you will take him with you. Why? I would only ask that you give him a chance chance to be part of whatever future awaits the Commonwealth. Why? Why does he care? He didn't care. He never expressed any interest in the synths as individuals, as people. There's a chance all we blew up was a facade. The real institute's still out there. Oh, Tom, come on. Did you know me when I was younger? I can't remember. Sean, do you want to get out of here? Go live somewhere else with me? Yes. <laughs> yes, come and live with me at the, the hub. I have a room all ready. Well, it's not completely ready because I actually didn't know you were going to come, but I can get it ready. You'll have your own room, Sean, in our own house, and we can be a family. How about that, huh? Okay. All right. Des, um, I'm going to take that vacation. See you later. Huh? Give the op to someone else, please. I am going home with my son. Yeah. Let's go. Do a lot of kids live in old crypts? Because it's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, I can't. Yeah, Sean, the hub is a great place. You'll love it. We've got a hotel there and a restaurant. And I have a dog. His name's Dogmeat. You'll love him. My best friend McCready lives there too. 
He'll be so happy to see you. He's been helping me to get you back since I met him. I helped get his son back. Or help his son, who's, who was sick. We helped find a cure. Oh, and Deacon, too. He's coming. Yep. Deacon's cool and tough. He's just like you, Dad. Oh, yeah? Did you hear that, Deacon? Sean thinks you're tough. <laughs> if I remember right, you shouting, Ow! 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 During battle. Of course, I can't say without a doubt that I haven't if also humans done make that. sense, who makes humans? Like you and me. Um... Um, <laughs> well, that's a story for another day, kid. Maybe when you're a little older. <laughs> I wish I knew my mom. She died when I was just a baby, right? Yeah, she that did. That kind of makes me sad. <sighs> me too. This is Bunker Hill. Lots has happened here. The others? They look up to you. I can see it. The others? The other railroad people? Yeah. I guess I'm something of a sensation to them. I don't know why, but... I just wanted you to know. I love you, Dad. Oh. Well, I love you too, Sean. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. See that power arm over there? And that one? Yeah. Some of the others were talking about dying. And how when a human dies, you can't just make another one. Yeah, that's right. They're, yeah, humans aren't like synths. <clears throat> Yeah, I shot these guys right out of their power armors. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Your dad is awesome, Sean. The others? They told me to stop worrying. They said you can't be killed. That you'd always come back to me. Oh, they told you that? Oh. I'm gonna have to have a talk with them. I mean, there's one thing about... You know, assuring him that everything's going to be fine, and there's another about lying to his face. See those things over there? The hub's right on the other side I'm of I'm really glad that you're trying so hard to make the Commonwealth a better place. I am. Um, and I believe it can be made a better place. <sighs> Father didn't think so. If I could only have convinced him. Can't you feel it, Dad? It's like everyone has hope. Like, everything's just gonna be okay. Yeah. What happens when people die? Can Mom see me? I don't know. I don't know. I would like to think so. I would like to think she can. And here we are, Sean. This is the hub. The world is so much bigger than I've ever imagined. Yep. Bigger than the Institute, that's for sure. <sighs> it's good to be home, you know? I feel like I'm home to stay. What is that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Since. Huh. <laughs> that was, uh,. Unexpected. Are you leaving again? No. I like it when you're here. Yeah, no, I'm not leaving. Where did you get that? Ha! 
Uh... I can't believe it. We won. We couldn't have done it without your help. The Minutemen came through for us. And we won't forget it. Oh. Oh. So, Sean, this is the hotel. You sure do help a lot of people. Okay, then. Over here is the gardens, the guard towers. Word spreading all over the town. Walked a hundred miles. I knew there was a pile of caps waiting for me. Did you hear about that farm run by ghouls? Did you hear about the institute getting blown up? <sighs> well, we are back. We've been back a couple days, settling in. Sean wanted to help out with the gardening and stuff, so he's he's uh, doing that. He's never <laughs> gardened before. He thought it was really cool. Anyways, um, he's also been busy. Oh, people, close my gate, please. He's also been busy in um, his room. We've been moving in, and he got right to work um, collecting things. He went through my junk pile, and he collected all kinds of stuff, and he's been really busy just... <laughs> oh, and he absolutely went in insane over all the comic books that I've collected. Why does he have 50 calibers bullets in his drawer? Hmm... <laughs> Anyways, he's having a lot of fun, and it's really cool having him around. It's like, I have my son. I have my son back, Deacon. He's not the real Sean, but my gosh, he sure seems like it. And he's who I was expecting, you know? He's who I was expecting. <sighs> this is Glory's minigun. I just felt like I should keep it. Anyway. So, been here for a few days, and I, anyways, I, um, too many miles on the road, at least the pay is I terrible. feel like going, I need to go to Diamond City, I need to tell Piper, and I need to tell Nick, you know, they were, they were there at the beginning, and they helped me. They helped me get where I was going. They helped me get on my feet with this search for Sean. And if it weren't for them... I hope you realize how much you did for us. Huh? Destroying the Institute? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Sean? Last time we talked, I hope I no, didn't bore you to death. No, you didn't. Sean? More. Hey. Hey, Sean. I wish there were cars that worked. It would be really fun to drive one. It would. Hey, Sean. Hey, Dad. Can you do something for me? Mm. Next time you're out doing stuff, can you look for something? I want to try building some new things. I'd I'm... like to have an old microscope. Oh. You know, to use for parts. I bet I can make something really useful for you. Right? You don't have a microscope, and I don't think I have one either. What do you want to build? What are you planning on building? I don't know. Whatever I can come up with. I bet it'll be neat, though. So... Will you look for one? Yes. Sure thing, Sean. Thanks, Dad. I'll go. I'm actually going to leave now. Um, I got to go to Diamond City and tell my friends the in about the Institute. Don't worry, Sean. I will be back. I promise. And you know what? All the people here are going to take really good care of you. I'm going to bring McCready with me. This is a far cry from working with the gunners. Glad that's behind me. McCready? Dude. Seems to be growing well. Oh, whoops. I accidentally picked my flowers. Get out of the flowers, McCready. Come on. Hey. Hey, dude. Hey there. Last time we talked, no, I hope I didn't bore didn't. you to death by dumping my life story. Sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Did you see that fog come in suddenly? Okay. Dude, come on. Can we stop talking about hey. this? If it's important to you, it's important to me. Really appreciate you. Yeah. The fact of the matter is. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. 
Okay, so yeah, we'll be the best we'll friends. Always be best friends. Mm. Don't think I'll ever get remember. Then... If you need anything. Yep. Hey, you know what? Uh, <clears throat> there you are. Yeah. I almost thought you forgot about me. <sighs> Let's get moving, huh? Time to hit the road. I knew you couldn't live without me. Still killing people for caps, McCready. I don't know. You still pretending to be anyone but yourself? <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, McCready, do you hey. have? What's up? Yeah. Hi. Take this. You're gonna need it. Your thoughts? Axes about, to grind. Hell, I have a ton of them. It. Maybe. No? Okay. That was it. <laughs> sure. I just thought maybe you had something to say after all this time. All right. Bye, Sean. I'm going to head out now. I promise I will be back probably in about a day or so. I'm just going to go to Diamond City. I don't want to take you along. It's a dangerous you just road. just want you to know. I love you, Dad. Love you, too. All right. Let's go. Hopefully I can see the way. Oh, it's foggy. Deacon. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> McCready, I want to go by the the ruins. The blow the the blast zone. Let's see what it's like. We're on our way there, okay? Let's go. Hopefully this fog clears. So we can actually see anything. We're almost there. I think we're getting close. Um, probably we're gonna end up needing to take Rat away because that was a nuclear bomb. It would be kind of like... Oh. The bridge is down. The bridge... The bridge is gone. There was a bridge there in that boat. There was a boat there, wasn't there? The bridge. Huh. No radiation so far. We're pretty close now. still cars on it as if it were still here. Yeah, that's weird. Alright. No, that... Oh, here's the radiation. That's the one with the boat. I wonder why that bridge is missing. <laughs> oh, wow. McCready, look! Um, I don't have any radics. Hotkeyed. Let's. Goodness, it's a lot stronger. This is this is where it was. Entrance to the area where Diamond City, you know, this is the main. <laughs> um, whoops. Yeah, I need to. Well, Sean. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, 
All right, <clears throat> I've seen enough. Let's go. Safer on the other side of the bridge. Far enough away from the radiation. Look at that. This obviously wasn't as big as the bomb that... that dropped over there in the glowing sea, but... This was a big bomb. Can't go this way anymore. Pretty sad, <laughs> but... And I guess it'll probably be this way for a long time. Now whoever wants to travel this way has to go a long way around to, to the next bridge. I mean, the next next bridge, because for some reason that one's missing too. Even though I don't think the blast went that far over. Huh. Oh, let's get to Diamond City. Diamond City. This is where it all started pretty much. I mean, it all started in Sanctuary, but Diamond City is where it really started. It's where the search began. And now it's gonna end here. Wow. Nice. On, Sullivan. Just to make God wait a little longer. Uh oh. You gotta listen. Mayor McDonough, I saw him with one of those Institute synths. Oh. Piper was right. He's one of them. Uh -oh. He's done as a synth. Oh, God. Yeah. What do we do now? You can stop standing around. Someone get a doctor. Danny, two slugs in the gut, plus the fall from the elevator. Oh, he fell but off? But gonna make it. Now oh, here. here. Quick, take this stim pack. Thank you. I feel better. If you don't mind, I'm I'm just gonna stay here for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> ah. All right. Um, McCready. So they shot him. McDonough you shot him. The feral ghouls keep your distance. Yeah. Minus even machines. Come on, They'll McCready. Come straight for you. Let's go up here. We gotta take care of McDonough. He's flipped his lid, I think. Get on the elevator, dude. Hey. Hey. Need something? Over here. Sure, no sweat. Take your time, why don't you? Get All it. Right. There's no way to get there. You're here already, dude. <laughs> McCready, I missed you. Piper? You knew were a sin, McDonough! Yes, Piper. Congratulations, you've won. I hope you break your foot trying to kick that door down. Ugh, damn it, it won't budge! Whoa! Piper! Damn oh. it, McDonough's locked the door. Yeah, I know. Piper. Oh, there's no key. Gotta be a way in. There's no key. This one? Oh, that's Kellogg's house key. Well, key there. That's far enough. Help me! He's crazy! I am not just going to be discarded and tossed to the wolves. I'm the mayor, goddammit! Discarded? Discarded? The Institute didn't want you back? No! Before the explosion. They sent some discount messenger to tell me I've outlived my usefulness. Uh -huh. Now, I'll tell you what's going to happen next. I'm walking out of this city, unharmed, with my dignity intact. You're not getting off the hook that easy, McDonough. You have to answer for what you've done. I'm either walking out of the city a free man, or I'm killing as many of you disgusting, filthy savages huh. as I can. I never liked you, McDonough. No, you're gonna stand trial. You're going to stand trial. And these people are gonna have justice. 
Lord knows you've got plenty to answer for. Trial? Please. You know how <laughs> these people feel about synths. I won't be stuck in a prison while they gloat. This is my city. Uh uh. Not anymore, dude. Oh, he's just starting to have fun. He's dead. Huh. I can't say McDonough didn't deserve worse. Move, but... McCready. Without a mayor, the city council will be next in line to pick up the pieces. Let's hope they do a better job. I don't know when people are going to be ready for another mayoral election. Excuse me. Not going to be soon, that's for sure. But at what? least now, Diamond City will finally have the truth. Well, that solves yeah. that problem. <laughs> at least we didn't let him walk. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Piper. I got a lot to clean up here, Blue. Hit me up again later. All right. By the way, I don't want to be mayor, just in case you were wondering. What other Kellogg's we're house? In the waste, that, otherwise. Right? Synth component. Well, unfortunately, all this is still stealing. <laughs> McCready, where'd you go? McCready? Oh, there you are. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go talk to Nick. Come on, dude. Oh, it got dark quick. It wasn't even dark when we got here. Well... What do you think, huh? Heads up. What do you want? Excuse me. Just ask and I'll try to help. Okay. No, I just thought you had something to say. Alright, excuse me. You'd think you'd have more to say. But you don't. So, whatever. Okay. Alright, everybody. It's taken care of. Danny, get to the doctor. Nick, Nick, Nick. How much you want to bet he's just going to talk about Eddie Winter? Oh well. Ready for that new case? No, I'm not. I'm not ready for any new cases. Nick. Um, whoops. That was an accident. <laughs> Why can't I click on you? Oh, because I'm still in her dialogue. Just kidding. Well, you know how to keep a girl waiting. Yeah, I didn't come here for a case. I'm a little busy right now, Ellie. Oh, all right. But don't leave it for too long. Clients sounded desperate. And the people of the Commonwealth oh. slept soundly. <sighs> For the greatest monster was gone. It took a lot of guts to do what you did. I know it couldn't have been easy. No. No, it wasn't. But it had to be done. It had to be done. You'll get no argument from me. It's hard to even wrap your head around. A world without the Institute, lurking in the shadows. But that's the life the people of the Commonwealth will get to lead now. All thanks to you. <sighs> yeah, I didn't do it alone, for sure. I didn't do it alone. Sure, sure. But we both know, without you, none of this would have ever been possible. This is a brave new world you've ushered in. But I suppose it'll do. <laughs> Ready for that new case? No, I'm not. Nick, I'm taking a little break from stuff. I just came to say hi, and I just... I got... I got my son back, Nick. He's... he's a synth, but got he's... Got an odd look on your face. Shut up, Ellie. 
he's a synth, but he's he's a boy, and he's Sean, and he's my son, and he he calls me dad, and it's great. And I'm gonna spend a couple weeks just relaxing back at the hub with him, okay? And then after that, I don't know. Maybe I'll come hit you up, and we'll go look for Eddie Winner. Well, you know how to keep a girl waiting. Keep on waiting, Ellie. When I woke up in that vault, <laughs> seems like ages ago, I thought my world had ended. I thought that I would never be whole again. The one thing that kept me going, the one thing that kept me putting one foot in front of the other, was the hope, faint though it may have been, that I would be able to get some of that world back. Sometimes that hope would tease just beyond my grasp and other times it was so far away I thought I had lost it for good. I know I could not have done this on my own. And the people I have met in my journey out here this in this wasteland, it's because of them that I saw my hopes and dreams come to pass. The Minutemen, <laughs> they gave me a reason to care about the people of the Commonwealth. Preston Garvey with all his goofy quirks and sentimental ideas, he had a dream even greater than mine. His dream went far beyond himself and he made me see the value in this seemingly dead world. He showed me the life that still thrived here. He showed me its worth. Piper, that spunky little reporter always sticking her nose in where it shouldn't belong. Even though I didn't get to know her as much as I'd like, I count her among my true friends. She believed in me, and rooted for me in my search for Sean. She never gave up hope, even when I had my greatest doubts. Nick Valentine, my friend who is always more human than most of the humans I know. I'll always be grateful for the compassion and stick to <laughs> He somehow seemed to understand my pain more than anyone. And I aim to repay him one day. I promise you, old buddy, we'll find Eddie Winter. And of course, there's the railroad, without whom I would not have been able to accomplish most of the things I did to reach my goal. I admired their drive to help the synths, those unfortunate pawns in the Institute's game. I know they still have quite a bit of work cut out for them, helping all the synths we freed in the last minute. And I'll be there to help them with whatever they want me to. Deacon, <laughs> my crazy, lying, and eccentric friend. I know he was often the brunt of my frustration, but he was always there for me, lifting my spirits and giving me an ear when I needed to vent. He never complained, and I owe him big for that. The world would be a dull place without you, dude. McCready, my best bud. We shared similar tragedies and probably understood each other more than anyone else. I can't fully express my appreciation for his friendship and his unending loyalty. We've got each other's backs, dude, and that's more valuable than all the caps in the Commonwealth. Sean. He may not be my real son, but he's the dream. The real dream. The way it was supposed to happen. He's what I fought for and bled for. He's what I woke up for each day. He's why I continued putting one foot in front of the other. And when I hear him say, Dad, I don't see a synth. I see my boy. I see my son. And that's darn good enough for me. It's been a long, hard road, but we finally made it. This is the end. Well, <laughs> there is still a big world out there. Settlements will still need my help, and so will the railroad. Will Shane and McCready set out on a grand adventures once again? <laughs> sure, why not? But for now, I just need a rest. I think I've earned it. Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she's anything but calm.